about 31, I had a question coming out of section 2.5, number 13. And here's where we needed to solve for x. And this particular equation right here is slightly different, or it might look slightly different because it doesn't have that linear term, right? We're used to things like ax squared plus bx plus c equaling zero. And we don't have the bx term here. So it might throw you off initially. Now, to, to solve this problem, you always have your three methods whenever you have a quadratic formula or a quadratic equation, right? So let me write three methods, and I'm going to do two of them for you, right? So you could, if, you, if you're able to, you can factor, right? Um, then there's the quadratic formula. And the last one is completing the square. I'm just going to write CTS because I'm feeling a little lazy today. Um, these two at the bottom always work. All right. And then if you can factor, I feel like that's the, the quickest method, but that depends on your factoring um, skills. So if you're not the best at factoring, no, no worries. Just go with the quadratic formula. Now, the work I did over here, that's me factoring. So I actually went ahead, let me color code this a little bit. This is the factoring method. And then I'm gonna take a moment and I'm just gonna show you um, a, a, a slightly different way I could do this um, because, because I'm missing the linear term. So there's even, I guess, technically a fourth method I could do for this. And that's because I'm missing the linear term. All right, so let me clean this up a little bit. So I don't have that linear term. So I have 4x squared equaling 9. I can set that equal to 0, right? And here at this point, again, you could factor, you could use a quadratic formula, or you could complete the square. And I opted to factor. It happened to be a difference of squares. And when you have two factors or two terms multiplying to 0, you use the zero product property. So either 2x minus 3 was 0 or 2x plus 3 was 0. And when we solve that, we get x equal to 3 halves or negative 3 halves. So that's one way to do it. And again, I'm going to go and show you yet a different one. Um, so here's like, I would say a secret fourth method. So because I have no linear term, I also could have divided both sides by 4 and seen that x squared was equal to 9 fourths. Then I could have taken the square root of both sides, right? And then I would have x here equaling plus or minus, we have to remember that plus or minus will show up, the square root of 9 fourths. All right, so cancels over here, but again, when you're taking the square root of x squared, that plus or minus shows up. And then the square root of 9 is 3, and the square root of 4 is 2, so this is plus or minus 3 halves. All right, so there's yet another way to get to that answer. All right, thanks so much, everyone. Bye.